Three, two, one, action! My name is Curtis Ryan Woodside. I'm a filmmaker and Egyptologist from South Africa. Soon, I will be making my move to Italy permanent, where I will be living with my opera singer fiancé, Filippo, after more than a year and a half of not being able to get back. I have visited Tuscany a couple times before, but this time it's a little different. Now it's about settling in. So come with me on something that I don't usually do, a vlog, and see what we get up to almost every week. It's quite different waking up to snowy weather, so it's time for some indoor DIY. If you hear anything in the background, um, that is just Filippo teaching uh, his students, the opera students. So if you hear that, we've got natural background music. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to do today is actually, I love this kitchen here at Filippo's house, but it needs a bit of cheering up. So I've convinced him, sort of, <laughs> to let me cheer up the kitchen a little. Um, we want to redo something with the tiles to do something more like what you see in Sicily, because I loved when we went to Sicily, we could see all of the, the colored tiles with the different patterns and everything was just really beautiful. So what I wanted to do was do something similar to that. But instead of painting the tiles, which is quite permanent, um, you can go online, you can buy tile stickers. So I bought these tile stickers um, on Amazon and they are actually, they're quite affordable. Um, and they, as you can see, they're really pretty. So you can buy them in a roll. This is a roll of 54. I counted we need 40. Um, and they're really great. They look like real tiles. They're textured. So all the pattern actually is textured. It's like embossed. So no one should really know that they're tiles. So let's give it a try. So what I've done is we've cleaned the tiles here with like an alcohol spray. Um, so get any oil off. So I'm just gonna give it a try. They're really cool, they peel right off. So let's get the first one. So we're gonna do it in a, almost like an up-down pattern. I don't know how you would describe that. So we're gonna start here, let's see. And then just push them down on the sides so that they go into the tiling grout, like that. And then just press so that any air bubbles come out. In Filippo's kitchen, he's got this beautiful clock, which is actually like in a Sicilian style with the patterns on the ceramics like I was talking about. So this is what we are trying to match up with the tiles. So now that we've done the first one, um, I think it looks good. I don't think we need to cut them. They fit perfectly to the size of the tiles, which is 10 centimeters actually. So let's keep going. All right. So in between these, there's sort of like a pattern. I don't know what for, but um, we'll just give it a try. If you have a problem like this where it's sort of crossing over, just cut it into the size that you need. So I'm going to cut off the end. Ooh. 
and then we just need it to about there. There we go. Bugie meravigliose, frasi d'amore appassionate, ma solo baci chiedo a te. Con 24.000 baci, così prendete con l'amore, in questo giorno di follia, ogni minuto è tutta mia. I actually have spare of the tiles. So we have this like moving table stand thing for like vegetables and stuff. Um, so I thought to also put the tiles on here because it's very nice, but also, you know, just to match everything in the kitchen uh, with the, the like Sicilian tiles. So let's, uh, ref like I'm going to show you now, uh, you first have to clean it, um, so there's no oil or anything on here because you want it to be as clean as possible. Otherwise, if you have something oily underneath, it will just peel right off um, from the sticker. So, And then we just use a little bit of cleaning alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe it down so that everything is spotless and then begin I mean we have leftover we might as well use it right And just like that, the sun came out. So I thought to pick a little bit of fresh rosemary to add into the kitchen. It's always a little more handy that way, I feel. I would like to give a big thank you to my patrons for not only supporting my Egyptology work but my filmmaking in general and thank you to all of you for watching and supporting my videos.